Hey, you guys ready for Halloween? I'm not. But what I am ready for is to start making some Lexan windows for the Civic, baby, because race car, man. Okay, maybe a little bit too much energy on that one. But what I am ready for is to start making some Lexan windows for the Civic, man. Fuck. I don't like that one either. Shit. Whatever, run with it. Alright guys, now what we have to do here first is make a template of the, um, of the rear window. And that is best to do of the rear window, you know, the window that we're replacing. Um, but mine's kind of gone. See, this glass is glued in. So what I'm going to do is take the torch. Now, mind you, this is a learning experience for me, too. All right? I've never taken the glass out like this before. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. This is what I didn't want. I don't want to talk about it. It's just gone. And with that being said, I'm not going to be exactly showing you guys how to remove your rear window. You're going to have to figure that one out on your own because I don't know how to take out glass, bro. But I do know how to get it the hell out of my way, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Trice. Static selection. Alright, so now that I have the paper up here, what I'm going to do is go around this edge. Basically where I want my Lexan to stop. Uh, this is the best pencil I can find, not in the best condition, but I'm just gonna rub the pencil across the paper. So that it leaves that mark on the edge and that's where the edge of my Lexan is gonna be. All right guys, now that gives us our outline. Now we still need to transfer this from paper into cardboard. And now we have our template, dude. So this is what we're gonna use. We're gonna set it up there and make sure everything fits correctly. So if we have to make any adjustments, we can make it to this and not screw up our leg sand. All right, so we're good to go, dude. I like how it looks, everything lines up and it's pretty much perfect. So what I have to do is now transfer this shape over to our leg sand. So in order to do that, I need to get this car out of the way because we're going to make a freaking mess, dude. Alright guys, now what I have here is just, you know, basically uh, just styrofoam, man. This came in a 4 foot by 8 foot section. It is 3 inches thick. Um, I actually had to cut it down into smaller sections like this just so I was able to fit in the trunk of my car. But pretty much what we're going to be using this for is to cut our Lexan on top of. This makes, dude, this makes your life so much easier. You drop the Lexan down on top and then you can just cut out whatever shape it is that you're cutting out with your jigsaw. And you don't have to worry about setting it up on a horse, about your material shaking and rattling around. You can lay it down nice and flat on top of this and just cut out whatever shape it is you're cutting out, dude. I mean, that works for the Lexan, aluminum, um, pretty much anything that you need to cut with a jigsaw. Another tip whenever you're cutting with a jigsaw, your material kind of starts to build up right here and it makes it really hard to see your line as you're cutting. If you have a compressor with an air nozzle, it makes it a lot easier. You can use one hand to just blow the material away as you're cutting with your other hand. cut out dude and I have it mocked up there and once again obviously checking for fitment and stuff and everything lines up surprisingly really well dude it's not bad at all now that I have this thing taped up here what we need to do is go from the back side and I'm gonna need to mark the inside here all the way around because that's gonna be the section that if you guys ever paid attention to the Lexan windows or even the factory windows 
uh, there's a, a border around the edge of the window that's black. Um, that's so that you can't actually see the metal behind it. It just makes it look a lot cleaner. So um, what I'm going to do is go around this inside edge and mark the leg stand so we can pull it off and we know where it is that uh, that black line needs to be. Alright guys, now we got this thing all marked. And what I need to do now is basically just cut this out. I need to cut this out and get rid of this protective plastic. And then that's going to be the area that we're going to apply some black vinyl to. So we're applying this vi vinyl second surface. So from the outside of the window, you go up and touch the window. You're not actually touching the surface where the vinyl is applied because the vinyl is going to be on the back side. And the reason for that is so that, you know, our rivets or whatever doesn't scratch it or you can't walk up and just kind of fill the little lip of the vinyl. You can't, someone can't screw with it and peel the vinyl up, you know, and then it'll just, it'll be on the inside and it'll be safe and... Either way, I'm going to stop talking about it and get this cut out. Yo, check it out, dude. We got the black trim all finished. Now, I'll tell you guys straight up. It's not a hundred. But if I had to rate it, dude, I'd give it a solid uh, 85. And the only reason why I say that is because I'm not happy with this line here. It's a little bit. Sure, once it's on the car, you won't even notice. Not to mention, you ain't gonna be able to see that shit behind all my nitrous stickers, bro. Hold but for up. real, guys, I mean, look at what we've got so far. Looks legit, bro. I mean, and I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. You know what I've spent on this so far? I mean, the scrap vinyl from work, I didn't pay anything for it. I got it out of the scrap bin, but now that big ass piece of Lexan, that is costing me $63, $63. That's enough Lexan to do the rear window and both quarter windows. I'll probably have to get another, you know, maybe a half of a sheet to do both doors. But I mean, even if I got another full sheet, even if I got two full sheets, that'd be, hundred let's say 150 bucks and then the vinyl maybe even 200 at the most after you buy rivets and hardware and everything 200 bucks bro and we're gonna have full XM windows okay I think I, I'm gonna look up the prices after I'm done recording this and everything and it'll probably be posted on the screen right here but dude look how much that cost guys well this is the way to rhyme on rabbits and I wouldn't fucking take it back if I time travel just call me Richard Richard cause I'm a dick dick all right guys now I got the Lexan window all marked for where we're gonna drill for the rivets I might not use every single one of these I use the exact same spacing on this as I did for our sunroof cap Which is quite a bit of rivets and that's that's because I know aluminum in the heat it likes to flex and move around um, Now I know Lexan does the exact same things. Um, I might just go ahead and put one in the center and then skip every other you know what I mean put one here skip it put one here um, we'll see as time goes now what I did do at the bottom here is I peeled it up a little bit and I had this spare piece of trim laying around um, I just thought that that would kind of clean it up because out of the entire thing the only thing I was really unhappy with was this cut it was a little wavy and I tried to get it you know straighten out the best I can with the sander but it wasn't perfect so this is the best fix I can come up with and I know the actual glass the OEM glass had a little like metal trim piece in which I have no idea where that's at. Had a little metal trim piece here and on the sides as well. Which those would have been nice. If you guys are doing this and you have those laying around, I don't think it would hurt to actually take those, maybe a little bit of silicone and just kind of glue those onto the Lexan. Because you're not really adding much weight, but it will give you a much cleaner look. This actually does have to flex, okay? This window flexes downwards and also kind of flexes on the sides. So what you're going to want to do, start in the center, work your way out, but don't go all the way. Go up to the top, start in the center, work your way out, but again, don't go all the way. And then come to the center on the sides, okay? Do the center, do a couple in, and then pull this this way with your rivets. Pull it this way. Just slowly taking up the tension, because you don't want to get to the end if you just start on one side and go all the way and you might get to the end. 
and then you just have this area that's just kind of bowed out and you push it in it's making big lump dude it's just be a mess believe me so just do as I say man you won't have any problems skipping every other and I think that it's like dude that's perfect that's the perfect amount um, if I end up having problems in the future with the Sun hitting it and it doing like some weird stuff I might go through and go ahead and add some more but I think for now dude I mean that that looks like it's pretty well held on but yeah dude it came out really freaking clean I mean check it out what's up man you know how much money we saved doing this ourselves instead of buying some shit from like FAL or something from the inside looking out. Yeah, I'm actually pretty impressed, man. Now, I ain't never done this before. I know a lot of this stuff that I do, like, I don't know, maybe you guys are under the impression I've done all this myself, or like I've done all this before, but this is my first time, dude, so this is kind of exciting for me too. Like that, it came out really freaking awesome, man, and I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy, I'm happy. All right, now there it is, dude. Now what do you guys think? Make sure you guys let me know what you guys think because I I think it came out freaking amazing, dude. Like I absolutely love this look. I love the way it looks. You already know me, I'm a sucker for exposed hardware. So all the little screw heads going around, dude, that just looks freaking awesome to me. Now I do plan on riveting the, the window in. I'm not gonna do it quite yet because I want to get the side windows finished and that's the reason why I'm using screws for now is because I need to put some kind of weather stripping in behind it. So yeah guys, anyhow, if you liked the video, make sure to smash that like button and of course, if you're new here, please consider subscribing, man, because there's definitely a lot more videos to come, a lot more content because um, we're nowhere near done with this car. So, um... That's all I really have to say. So peace out, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, 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 don't be going anywhere yet. For those of you who made it to the end of the video, man, I just want to say thank you. I appreciate you guys. You guys are the true MVPs. You guys are the true supporter of the channel, brother. And now, the reason why I'm here talking to you guys, okay, we have a new group, man. We have a new group on Facebook, okay? So if you guys don't want to only follow the page at Deadbeat Garage or follow or send me a friend request personally, which you can do that as well, find me at Bravest Jeffries on Facebook. Um, you guys can also come join the group, dude. The group is called Built Not Bot. So go to Facebook, go up to that search bar, type in Built Not Bot, click search, and then click on it, click join. I will more than likely be the one approving your your uh, your join request. So, you know, get in there and post up your stuff, dude. It's exactly as the title explains it to be. It's for the guys who are building their cars. Not out financing that Evo, you know what I'm saying? You're in your garage, you're in your backyard for the knuckle busters, you know what I'm saying? Just like me, we're building our dream cars, you know, just one step at a time, dude. So I just wanted to create a group where we can all come in there and share progress with our cars. Uh, you know, what we're doing, even on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? Share pictures. If you got questions, post up your questions. Dude, I'm sure there's, there's going to be plenty of people in there that can, I, you know, either myself or someone else can help you with whatever it is that you're, you know, trying to figure out, man. We're all in it together, you know what I'm saying? So get in there, join the group, and freaking hit me up, dude. Share pictures of your ride, and um, yeah. So anyhow... I posted up on Friday inside the Built Not Bot group, okay? I asked for all the members, all the people who are already there. So if you're not there, you need to get in there because you're behind already. Um, for all the members that's already there, I said, yo, it's Friday, man. Post up pictures of your ride. I'm going to pick one car. I'm going to pick one car. Everybody that shares 
and I was going to post it up at the end of the video. So here it is right now. This here is Chris Hawk's 91 CRX SI. This picture stood out to me for obvious reasons. Dude, look at this guy. Is he really pulling the motor out of his car with a freaking tractor that probably weighs 10 times the amount of his car? I mean, this right here, dude, when I saw this picture, I thought to myself, that's it right there. That's it. But anyhow, like I mentioned in on that post, okay, it's not about, you know, how good your car looks because I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of really good looking cars in there. It's just about what stands out, brother, you know what I'm saying? And how can you not see how this stands out? So shout out to you, Chris Hawks, because I mean, brother, I, I don't think any of us are pulling the motors out of our cars with a damn tractor. So definitely a fist bump to you, homie, and thank you for sharing. Thank every single one of you guys for sharing and you know for participating and to show you that I appreciate that now don't think I'm gonna do this every time because I'm not I am NOT doing this every time because it's a lot of work dude to save all the pictures and download them to my computer and put them into my video editor and blah 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 but anyhow this is a shout out to all the rest of you guys who participated so um, yeah peace out guys and I'll see you on the next one Depression a manic, I'm puffing on strong, only organic This rap shit, my passion, I had to talk with please we brought Kidding, cashing, twisting sour, oh my god, the superpower People sinning, hate for the singer we chose We dug in, select the homie flow, so sick, don't talk shit Microphone, pistol, we pop this DLE stampede, go ahead and try to stop this Finger, fuck them for the logic, open up your eyes You're looking at the profits, we brand it Triple low tripping up the digits under your bed The monster, the killer, the misfit We did it, supply and demand Get as high as we can Still gonna be on stage screaming S to the K-O, I oh, ain't the man White boy with a bad temper And all about getting bread when I go get a trouble kid In the hood who kicked up dust in the desert Life full of soul so sacred, don't know If I'll ever make it frustrated From waiting so patient, came quick with a game changer Skull and bleeds, giving out them bangers Promise to become entertainment no one never knew where it came from. No one never knew where we came it's from. It's a yeah. super sour twister. Wouldn't lose it now with it. It's a loser coward out to get some views out with the palace wishes. Hit flowers, no powder sipper. Since I was a child, I dreamt of big houses and power bitches. Live out in the mountains, fence of surrounding the smell and sense of lit ounces and hella blends. Tell a friend, bitches, there's a life. No accountant, roll up announcements amounting to what I meant to be. Love with the bud and stench of weak vision. Lit Conscious are sipping, it's winter, get stopped, the mission's accomplishing, conquer business, live honest, for competition, accomplices, chronic driven, ain't rich, it's a slow progression, came in with six Jordan repping, brain kid in this boat of brethren, thanks lit, hit the soldier breath and stay lifting, with flows to heaven, they tripping, cause so and meskin, straight ripping, get shows, we're wrecking, respected, it's on the vest, been neglected, but on the west, and the rest of the cup is bumping, my wreck is gon' come, if one hits, I pledge this blow blood spit, Honey's like vegetables running money like Mexico once it's sunny my medic